A large thank you to Guillermo, Lassure, Richard Smith, and Ang Lee for their support on Patreon. Apologies if I'm mispronouncing any of those names. You guys are fantastic. Hello everybody, so today we're going to add some cool idle animations to our weapons. Because if you take a look right now, you'll see our swords are kind of just like floating in the air. We have some kind of open hand thing going on because we're actually using a locomotion animation, which doesn't look that nice with our weapon. Kind of like our sword is floating here and chilling out, and that's not the desired effect we're going for. And you'll know that in video games, each weapon, they almost have their own idol. And uh, a lot of weapons will look different with the way you hold them than other weapons. So I'm going to drag in this idle animation here called idle001. Take a look at this and make sure it's the right one. So let's go up here to our animator. And first what we're going to do is create two new layers. We're going to make a right arm and then we're going to make a left arm. These are going to act for our right and left arms respectfully. We're going to drag down the override, make sure that's always on the bottom. We're going to go here in the right arm. We're going to make the weight about 0 0.8. You can mess around with that if you want. I'm going to do the same thing with the left arm. Obviously, everyone's maybe a little bit different. You might want to try to mess with that when you add in the animations. Next, we actually have to make the mask, or this is not going to do anything really. So let's go to our animations. I'm going to make, go to our masks folder. And let's right click here and create avatar mask. Right arm. Right R, not a pirate. Right arm. I'm just going to duplicate that and ignore all that. I'm going to say left arm. Okay, I'm going to open it up. We have the view here. Click off so it's all on highlights. And we're going to toggle the right arm. This is the right arm, right? Well, I had to think there for a second. Yeah, okay, so we're going to highlight the right arm, the right arm only. We're going to do the same thing with the left arm. We're just going to click down here. Oh, click here. No, I guess you got to click right here. And then we're going to highlight the left arm. All right, next we're going to go up here into where we have our right and left arm layers. And we're going to add the mask in. So basically, the only thing that will be affected by the animations on this layer is what the mask has highlighted, which is our right and left arms. This is very useful for things like just highlighting one part of a body, body part on an animation. Now, as you guessed, we're going to go find our lovely idle animation. Was it two? No, that's the... See, this is the default uh, locomotion animation. As you can see, the hands are open, and this is not the desired effect that you want because you're not. it looks like you're not holding anything. Uh, this one here is for a two-handed animation. We'll be using the feature. Here we go, idle 001. So, as you can see, the hands are closed, like you're grasping at something. That is what we want. So let's drag that into here. Actually, no, we're not going to drag it in first. We have to make the empty. I'm going to right-click, create state, and we're going to call this right arm empty. Much like we have an empty state on our override, we always need the state to reset the animation if need be. So we're going to make left hand empty also. Left arm empty, sorry. And now we can bring in our animation. So let's go to the right arm and let's drag this bad boy in here. We're going to come up here and we're going to call this right underscore arm underscore. Actually, do I? Right arm? No, no, this doesn't feel right. Let's just, let's just call it right underscore arm underscore idle underscore 01. And we will do the same with our left arm. Let's click here and let's drag this in again. You can use the same animation because obviously it's only going to use the left arm. And we're going to call this left underscore arm underscore idle underscore 01. Okay, wonderful. So next we actually have to insert these animations in our weapon, if you will. So it's important that you don't draw a line back to the empty with those animations. Just leave them right like that. So next we're going to go to our... Weapon item scripts. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see what I'm writing. I'm going to close out these other scripts so it's not confusing and cluttering our brains. And we're going to go here and we're going to start off by making a nice header right here above our old attacks. We're going to call this attack animations because we want to keep everything as clean and nice as we can. So right after that, I'm going to come up here. We're going to make a new header. We're going to call this one, pick a guess, idle animations. And now we're going to make two public strings. We're going to call the first one right underscore hand underscore idle. And we're going to end it there. And then we're going to make a public string. We're going to call this left underscore hand underscore idle. You know, just to follow this, the naming conventions, I'm going to make those all lowercase because I see below I've made oh, one hand and light attack and it's all lowercase. I just want to keep it all consistent. And we're going to save that. 
All right, now we're going to go over to our weapon swap manager script. We're going to need the animator this time, not the animation handler, just the animator we find. We're going to call it on awake. We're going to say, because this is on the same uh, position as our animator and animation handler, we're going to say animator is equal to get component animator. And that should be fine. Okay, let's space it out and we're going to minimize the awake method here. Next, under load weapon onslaught. So when we're loading our weapon, we're gonna want to also um, set our weapon's idle animation. So we're gonna come in here, we're gonna say if weapon item is not equal null, just a null check. As always, it's always safe to do that. Although the weapon should be null here, but anyway, animator.crossfade weapon item dot left hand idle. 0.2f and it's just as easy as that. So when we're loading the weapon, we're gonna say crossfade the animation into left-handed idle. And if there is no weapon, so if it's null for some reason, for whatever reason, it should never be, but we're gonna say animator.crossfade. Whoops, let me put a capital C there. And all we're gonna say is left arm empty. And 0.2f. That is so simple and so clean. And we're gonna do the exact same thing down here um, where our right hand is. So under the load right handed damage collider, we're gonna say if weapon item does not equal null. We're gonna open these curly bracers and we're gonna say animator.crossfade weapon item dot right hand idle. Say 0.2F, so in 0.2 seconds, cross for the animation in. And then we're gonna go down here and we're gonna click, we're gonna just type L, sorry, uh, and we're gonna say animator.crossfade. We're just gonna say right arm empty, 0.2F. And that is very straight to the point, nice and clean. And you know what, to make it even cleaner, whoops, dash 0.2F, what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna come up here and we're gonna make a region. And we're just gonna say, that region, handle weapon idle animations. We're gonna come down here, hashtag end region, and we're gonna minimize that. And look at that, it's nice and tucked away. We're gonna do the exact same thing down here for our right hand. And you know what, we're actually gonna say handle weapon idle, and we're gonna say handle right weapon idle animations. And uh, just being very particular, you don't need to be as particular as me, but I think it just looks nice and I like being neat. So we're going to minimize that, and I'm gonna come back up here and say handle left weapon idle animations. And then I'm going to erase the space in between here. So that looks nice. That looks beautiful, lovely, absolutely lovely. So I'm gonna save that and we're gonna minimize this. Wonderful. All right, so next, we need to go to our actual weapon and uh, we're gonna actually type in our animations here. So going to our sword, you'll see now we have a section for idle animations. So let's just type in left underscore idle, left arm underscore, sorry, underscore idle underscore 01. We're gonna copy and paste that and change left to right. And we're going to actually drop in the game now and test it out because that should be good to go. Double checking here, let's go ahead and see. And as you can see, if I run around here, our player actually looks like he's holding the swords in his hand now and cusping them tightly, which is wonderful. That's what you want after you perform an attack. You're still performing that idle animation because it's not going back to the empty. So it looks a lot nicer. So I'm just gonna go into the scene view here in a sec and show you what I mean. Now, if we go into the scene view, you will see that the player is actually closing his hands on the sword. Now, I do need to make some slight adjustments because I had these swords set up for the other uh, weapon idol, if you will. So I'm going to actually uh, change the weapon's pivot. Because honestly, I hastily made it when I remade this project too. So I'll just be back in a sec. And as you can see, that is much nicer. Our player is holding the weapon. It looks very nice and adds a nice bit of polish to the game. So guys, again, thank you for watching this episode. Please don't forget to drop a like. It does help appease the YouTube algorithm gods. And I don't know if some of you noticed, but I have some great news. After Monday, my other work schedule, the hours are reduced by 50%. So it means I'll have a lot more time for YouTube and you should see a quality improvement in the videos. Not that there's not good quality right now, but I can definitely afford to put some more time into them. Um, yeah, I'm very excited. So I'll be also, um, I'll be very much so present in Discord more often. So thank you for making this far. If you're feeling super generous, please uh, check out my Patreon below. You can help support my work and get your name posted in the beginning and the credits of the video. So I will see you guys in the next episode. I hope you have a lovely weekend. Farewell.